Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your second half of January 2024 love reading. Okay, let's see what's going on for you. <clears throat> we have here the Two of Swords. Okay, you're in... Um, I, they tell me flux. You're in flux at this time. You're uncertain about what to do. Okay, you need to make a decision, but maybe you're not, you don't have all the facts or you're not sure which way to go with this. Okay, let's see. We have observer. Okay, you need more information. You're observing something. You're watching something. Analyzing something here. Okay, let's see what's crossing you. We have here the Four of Cups. Missed opportunity. Okay, so either you feel like you missed an opportunity with someone or someone feel like you missed an opportunity with you. Or, and also with the Four of Cups, someone could feel like, I'm not sure if I want this. And that's the, the energy I'm getting from you. Let's see. We have here inner child. Dealing with your inner child. Working. Maybe someone else is dealing with their inner child. It, it almost feels like, I don't know if I want this. I have a lot of feelings. I have a lot of emotions for this person. But I feel like they have some growing up to do. They might be coming across as a little immature or they need to heal something with their inner child. Okay, so let's see about the past. We have here the world. A cycle completion. An ending for a new beginning. Okay. This could also be something returning. And we have, ah, oh, separation. So there was a separation. Maybe we finally put the end to something. So what I'm getting here with the separation ending and um, the world thing, maybe the divorce is final or the separation is final. That's what happened in the past. Now let's see about the past, like longer past here. Um, this could also be past life. I'm throwing the past life in there too. We have temperance, restoration. Someone wants to restore something. Or maybe someone came back around in this lifetime or you guys came back around towards each other to restore something from the past, from past life. We have here, and there's signs. So you might receive, you know, it could be that when you met this person, you say, gee, there's this energy. I feel something about this person. I feel connected somehow. Or as soon as I met them, I liked them. And a lot of times that is a past life energy. You don't know why you like someone or why you feel comfortable with them right away. But it is an amazing feeling. I had it happen to me. And it's, especially in your love life, it's like, whoa. It, that is like so shocking. And it's something that you can't ignore. That's why it probably says the signs and with the restoration. Maybe you felt like you had to restore something with someone. Let's see about the future. Six months. Going out about six months, give or take. We have here the Three of Swords. Look at that. Separation is like the Three of Swords. And then we have here... There might be some kind of hurt, some kind of pain, a third party situation here. Let's see about this three of swords. Communication. Okay. So there could be communication coming in from someone that caused you some pain, some hurt. But they might be wanting to communicate here. Okay, so now what's coming in the very near future? We have concrete ideas, a page of pentacles. This might be you trying to figure something out, writing down your ideas, trying to um, figure out how to do something, how you want to handle something. Or this could be a person coming towards you. This can be an offer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be younger than you. Let's get a charm on that. We have here, okay, the dragonfly, a transition, a change. Okay, let's clarify this card here. And we have the fifth dimension. See, I, and I was going to say it and I didn't. With the dragonfly, the dragonfly is supposed to have the um, capabilities of being able to move from dimension to dim dimension. Move from this third dimension over into fourth, fifth, and so on. So there might be something here that this person that's coming in, you actually do connect on another dimension. Because that would feel like a, a soulmate connection. Something that is like you're feeling this energy. So you could be separated, but communicating here. But not on the third, um, the 3D. You guys could be presently 
or in the very near future communicating in another dimension to your souls could be connecting in order to come together. Let's get the words on this page of Pentacles. We have here denying together separate. <laughs> well, isn't that interesting? Denying together separate. Together you could be denying that you're separated or se you're s denying separate. Okay. You guys, if it makes sense, you know what it means. But I do feel like someone's coming in to talk. And they could be saying they're denying that you guys should be separated. That you guys should be together. Is the main energy I'm getting here. Oh, hang on one second. Okay. So, let's go on to who you are. You are the Knight of Cups, a romantic gesture. So you might be thinking of maybe making a romantic gesture to someone, or this could just be your energy. Feeling a lot of love in your heart, maybe, you know, wanting to be in a romantic situation here. Let me get a charm. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have here, oh, yeah, there's a very strong past life connection here with someone. Look at this. We have the trio. So to me, this is a past life connection. This could be a long-term relationship. This could be branching out. Or just strong ties, strong roots. Okay, let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Oops, popping. They're popping. Third party. Look at that. Third party, third party, third party. Okay. So, who you are. Why is it third party? Okay, I'm going to have to get another. I don't know why third party is coming out for who you are. Are you the third party on the connection here? That could be... Now, it's not going to be for everyone, but I'm going to clarify that because it did throw me. I don't know why I didn't catch that right away, but it did throw me. Let's see. We, I don't I don't believe it. That's what it is. Tower, surprise. Maybe you're surprised to find out you're a third party. Ah, that makes sense. Because maybe you're in a relationship and you didn't know this person was already taken, was in a commitment, was married. And it was a shock to you. Every Scorpio energy to find out. We have here... The King of Wands. You could be dealing with the King of Wands here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have the Queen of Swords. And this is your energy saying, no, I am not going to deal with this. And look at this. But there's a very strong connection here. We have the Two of Cups. This first one feels like a soulmate, but they might have put you in a third party situation. Now they want to communicate. And something's ending here for something new to begin. Yeah, it makes, kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, let me get a charm on this um, King of Wands. We have here, yeah, there's a very strong flow here. There's a spiritual connection here. The goldfish could also represent resources, income, work, but also very strong connection here. Unless you know them through some kind of resources or income or, you know, that you met them that way. Something to do with your job, maybe even? Let me see about the Queen of Swords. We have the scissors here. Yeah, this is, I really believe that you are the Queen of Swords. You're, you cut this out because you found out and was shocked to find out that this person had you in a third party situation. You don't want to come in between someone and their um, spouse here. You, that's, you're not a home wrecker. And that's the energy I'm feeling here. It's like, what the heck did you do to me? I, I feel like a really, you know, angry and hurt energy here. Okay, so now let's see about this King of Wands. Very charming, you know. It's, and now we have Want, Confess, and Closure. Okay, so this King of Wands wants to confess, confess to you and have some kind of closure. Okay, what about you with the Queen of Swords here? We have here Memories, Alone, Meeting. Okay. So you're thinking about the memory. So you might be thinking, okay, maybe they want to get you alone for a meeting here. Mm. Okay, some of you are going to be okay with that. Some of you aren't. Okay, so now let's see. How, how do you project yourself to the world here? We have here the three of pentacles that you 
You work well with others. You collaborate. You you try to help people. Look at this. We have this holding hands and like a sword. I feel like there's an energy here. There's a spark. There's a. As soon as you met someone here, you felt this. But it's also maybe people feel that as soon as they meet you. It's like this feels like you do collaborate with people. You do work well on a team. Okay. Let's clarify the Three of Pentacles. We have, oh, destruction though. But this is something that, this is probably because of this connection here. You know, it's weird because I never thought of Three of Pentacles as a third party. But when I was looking at it, I said, that's odd. Because usually that's the Three of Swords, not the Three of Pentacles. But this is team collaborating. But then finding that something totally, you know, blew your mind. You did not expect to see what happened here. And this was a connection that you thought was going to make it. And then you find out that it was false. Okay, so let's see about your hopes or hopes and or fears here. Let's see. We have death, transition, Scorpio energy, your card. Major change. Maybe, maybe you want this change. You may have been fearing it too. So maybe for some of you, you fear it. Some of you want it. Some of you fear it and you want it. But this is a major transition, a major change, a, a ending, a rebirth. And we have here, and now you're refocusing. So after, maybe after the cleansing, after the ending, now you need to refocus. And that's what you're doing. You're saying, okay, I got dealt a, dealt a bad hand or I, something happened that I really didn't expect. But now I just have to pick up the pieces and move on. And that's what it is. Ending, rebirth, transformation, and changing. You learn by your, your pain, your hurt. Now let's see what the possible outcome is. We have here the King of Wands. Really? Okay, the King of Wands coming back. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a visionary leader here. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, nurturing, caring, um, Taurus energy, Capricorn energy, or even Virgo energy. And then we have the Five of Pentacles, isolated and alone. Okay. Fives always changes, though. And what you don't see coming is the sun, illumination, and growth. So this is passion. This is desire. This is a clarity. Leo energy. You don't see this coming, but there's something coming in that's that's going to grow, that's going to illuminate you, that's going to make you happy. Okay, so now let's clarify. Wait, first, going to be a charm on this King of Wands. We have... Oh, yeah, the King of Wands is saying that you're soulmates. You're meant to be together. Look at this. Two open hearts entwined. They're trying to convince you. They're trying to come in. What about this Queen of Pentacles? Ah, we have the key. Now, the Queen of Pentacles has the key. Could this be so someone else's partner or someone new? Or is this your energy because you're nurturing and caring and you hold the key to this person? Maybe, you know... The king, the queen of pentacles is, you could be paying attention to your money too. And maybe you feel like, I don't want to be involved with this, the isolation or alone here. Okay, let's clarify this king of wands. What's up with this king of wands? Understanding. Okay, with the understanding, they're either coming in hoping that they could get you to be more understanding of their circumstances. Maybe they have a bad, um relationship with this person they're with or mm, I don't know or maybe they're more understanding of how you feel let's see about the queen of pentacles <clears throat> we have spring now for this I feel like I, th I think you could be the queen of pentacles there could be something happening in spring that this person might actually return not until the springtime which is, you know, not that far away as far as here in the States. Um, but it also could be a new beginning. Something, um, someone wants to start fresh. And what about this Five of Pentacles? <clears throat> oh, we have big dreams. So it feels like there was big dreams here. And all of a sudden you felt like you were left out in the cold. And you bring that up or there's something about that. And look at this. I think when this person comes back in, what you're going to say, you're very happy on your own. You're finding happiness elsewhere. And the answer is no. 
you're going to say no to this person. You say, I'm not, you're not putting me in that energy again, and you should have never done it in the first place. So, let's see about this King of Wands. We have here drama, the end, a part, confuse. Okay, so because of this drama, in the end, you guys are apart, and for some reason, I don't know why, this person's confused. <laughs> Why? Why would they be confused? You, you, they just put you in a third party situation. Okay, let's see about the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> Delusional. That's what I think. Okay, we have here freedom, accused, apology. <clears throat> so you have your freedom. And... Someone might accuse you of something and you're expecting an apology or something. I don't know. This, I would say, with this, either this, if this is for you, you'll know exactly how this should be worded, how you could rearrange the words any which way you want. And if it doesn't make sense for you, it's not for you. Because it's not going to be for everyone. It is a general reading. But yeah, someone, some, I think you have your freedom now. And, and it's, it's like, you know what, you're not putting me in that. You have too much self-respect and love for yourself. You're not going to be put in a situation like that. Okay. Two of cups or no two of cups. Soulmate connection or no soulmate connection. You know, we have connections from past lives that come back in. And sometimes we just have to... This could have been that you did this to them and they're getting their karma by doing it to you. I mean, not that you you would know that, but your souls know. That could be, or it could be the, you know, you could always... Um, you could always transverse it. Transverse it? Reverse it? No. Oh my gosh. I've been doing a lot of reading, so I'm getting punchy now. I think I need to take a little bit of a break. Okay, so let's see here. You know you can reverse it. <laughs> That's what I think I wanted to say. Okay, guys, so let's see here. What are the signs you could be dealing with? Now, this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. Okay, we have here Cancer. Sagittarius, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Leo. Okay, again, placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Cancer, Sagittarius, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Leo. Now we'll do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have V, J, G, N, J, W, D, G, S, M, S. Okay, so letters we have here today are V, J, G, N, J, W, D, G, S, M, S. Okay, now... Let's do the names. And do 11 or more names. Let's see what names want to come up. Okay. We have Pedro. Hardip. H-A-R-D-I-P. Scott. Odell. Joy. Joshua Anissa A N I S S A Jade Barry Martina Karima K A R I M A and Jane Okay, so we have 12 names. Now remember, guys, these are general readings. They're not personal reading. Please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. If you checked out your sun, check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. Or it might give you that missing link, that missing piece. The part of the puzzle makes everything click together for you guys. Also, if it does resonate, you might just get more information. 
you know, paint a clearer picture or just, you know, something that doesn't feel right might sort of make sense or might answer the questions you're looking for, the answers to. Okay, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, and your super thanks. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you guys all again real soon. Thank you so much.